So the key to being in a non-build camper van is Good morning everybody from beautiful Plomosa Road in Quartzsite. This is our last morning here. We're actually packing up today. We're heading into Parker, Arizona to stay in a very cheap campground if there's any sites luckily. But before we leave, I thought I would show you my setup here in Quartzsite. So if you guys don't know if you're new to the channel, I travel in my 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan and I have a non-build setup. Uh, I need to have a non-build setup because I need my van to be versatile. So I, it's my daily driver at home. So sometimes I could be carrying anywhere from seven people to one person. I could be sleeping anywhere from four people to one person. So I need to be able to change it up and move things around. So a no-build works best for me. And everything in here was done for probably under a thousand dollars because I get everything used in all Facebook marketplaces and auctions. So let me show you my setup. First, we'll start on the outside. This is my kitchen. I got this off of an auction for 20 bucks, I think. And it has my butane stove. It just gives me lots of storage outside to cook on. This is probably my one of my best purchases on an auction. I paid two dollars for this. This has got to be the most comfortable folding chair I've ever sat in. We got Charles's bed here and his food bowls. Excuse me Charles. This is my change tent and my bathroom. So the key to being in a non-build camper van is maximizing your storage space. So um, I utilize the space under the bed for all of my storage pretty much, except for one cabinet of drawers. Yes, there's all my food, all my cooking utensils, all my clothes, all my junk drawer, everything is under my bed. Um, there are some stuff, well here, I'll show you guys. Here I have my uh, freezer, fridge slash freezer. This is 12 volt. I run it off the van when we are driving. And then when we are at a campground, it's running either off of this guy, my Blue Eddy, or I have a Jackery 240 at the front of the van that also runs it. Now this little cooler, I keep things in here that don't necessarily need to be refrigerated, but should be kept cool, like my bread, some wraps, mustard, stuff like that. Um, behind here, I have uh, all my dry food storage. You see I have like my spices, some chips, some pasta, uh, stuff like that. And then here is my uh, cooking storage so I have all my pots and my pans and my cooking utensils here and of course Charles's dog food and I'll talk about this thing in a sec <laughs> now I do have a cargo box um, which I need this step ladder to access because I'm short and, and the only thing that goes in the only thing that goes in the cargo box are the chairs and my little plastic table, and that's it. Here on this side of the van, I'll talk about these in a moment as well. So this is my uh, plates and my dishwashing stuff. So here's all my uh, utensils, and in here is my my junk drawer so it's got things like flashlights a headlamp uh, batteries food clips just random stuff and then here on the front seat all i keep is this is the case for my uh, shelter i keep a, a jug of water up here and i use this to dispense my water
this folds up flat into a small circle so it's easily compact and I have this um, solar lights that I put under my van just to keep any critters out it's uh, motion activated okay now let's go to the main part of the van where I'll talk about my bunk bed and my window screens okay here's the van So a big thing I needed in the van on this trip is this bunk bed system. So this is called um, the Disco Bed Large Cot Bunk Beds. Um, obviously I needed bunk beds because my 18 year old son is traveling with me on this trip and while he doesn't want to sleep in the same bed as his mother, which is understandable, but I knew I also didn't want side by side beds because I like having this floor space here to sit down. So um, I saw these disco beds on uh, online. I, I forget where I saw it, but I figured, oh, that would be perfect for us. So my son sleeps on the top bed. I sleep on the bottom. If you guys saw my previous van build, I had um, two, uh, I had a queen foam mattress that was cut in half and piled on top of each other for my bed on my futon frame. Uh, so for on the cot, I took one of those pieces of foam um, for on the cot. And this has been very comfortable. I slept very well on this. I couldn't put both pieces of foam because it would have made this too thick and I wouldn't have had enough headroom to get out of bed in the morning. So you can see under the bed, we do have more storage. This is all of my clothes in these packing cubes. Um, I have my Instant Pot, my Instant Pot. Yes, I travel with an Instant Pot on, under here. And then there's another um, bin here. And that holds all of our um, fans and our heater. So when they're not in use, they're put away in that bin. So this is, um, the only set of drawers that is outside of the cot, you see this holds, this is like medicine, um, Charles grooming supplies. When you have a long haired dog like Charles, he needs to be groomed regularly. Um, this is just like toiletries and our shower stuff. And this is my Jackery, which I used to power my CPAP. And right now it's charging my, uh, laptop that I used to watch my movies on. And this, I'll show you guys this here. So this is one of the favorite things that I bought and I have been using this a lot and Corbin's been using this. It's just a little folding lap desk. Um, so it can come out like this and then this, these legs adjust. Um, and it can be tilted up down I like to work somewhat like that so I like to sit here on the floor of the van with this and edit here enjoy the view outside um, it's really convenient little thing to have I'll put the link for this in the description below my son's also used it while we were on the road to <laughs> play video games on while we were traveling so it's coming really handy. It's really nice and it's really portable and easy to fold up. And that just lives uh, right here. And then I can use it as side of kind of a side table when I'm in bed. So right now I am in court sight with my parents in their fifth wheel. So Corbin is sleeping in the fifth wheel. So because he's sleeping there, I'm able to utilize the top bunk as sort of like attic storage. So I have my dirty clothes up there. That's all my filming equipment, all my cameras, all my chargers and stuff. Um, and this is the bag for my CPAP. So even when I'm traveling by myself, I might still use the cots because that is a lot of storage up there to keep things. And it keeps this floor space free sometimes at night I like to 
sit back and stretch my legs out and watch a movie like this instead of watching a movie in bed and uh, it's been working out well. See I hang my jacket here on the back seat and you see over here I have my um, Snuggie hanging up on a hook back there and yeah it's just nice and oh, more than enough space for two people so it's working out really well for us okay now i'll talk about my window panels when i was designing the window panels i knew that i didn't want to have to take down my window panels whenever i was driving and put them up and have to store them somewhere i knew i wanted to keep them up at all times and just have them roll up so you see this one's down right now on the other side and I have this one rolled up on the driver's side to show you. So right now, both panels are rolled up. It's just held, one of the panels is just held in place by this little red Velcro. So I can take this off. And then it's just a bug screen that Velcros to the side of the van to keep it taut, to keep any uh, nasty little critters out. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a bug screen right here. So I could have the panel with the Reflectix rolled up, but, and still have a bug screen down to roll my window down and keep bugs out. Now, when I wanna roll this down, these are just connected with two little loops with Velcro. So I just release these. So I just release these and this rolls down. And then there I have my privacy. And I have, so the panels are separate from each other. There's the bug screen. This is covered with Reflectix. And I use a outdoor furniture, um, material so it's not affected by moisture uh, and it's been working really well for us so I'll show you what it's like when I roll up the whole thing to be in driving mode so to go into driving mode just release the velcro roll it up and there simple as that it's rolled up and I don't have to take it down to drive. It is connected to the roof of my van by these heavy duty Velcro strips that are glued to the top of the van. It just makes it for really simple um, window panel coverings. Now on the quarter panels um, in the van, these do not roll up because um, I don't need to take those down when I'm driving. There, I do have a bug screen though at the back of quarter panels as well. So if I do open the back quarter panel windows, I can have the bug screen there and then no bugs can get in. So this has been working well. Now for the front windows, I do have screen, I do have the screen sleeves, um, but I haven't used them that much because it's winter and there's just not that many bugs out right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, minivan tour. This is how I have my minivan set up with a bunk bed and a freezer and built in window panels with bug screens. Um, and again, it's a no build and has and is done very, very cheaply. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my van tour video. In the next video, you'll be joining back up with me on our adventures around Arizona, my relief from Quartzsite to Parker. If you guys are liking these videos so far, Make sure you like, make sure you comment. I love talking with you guys and subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye.